channel i hope everyone is doing well today in this first day of uh, 2020 i'd like to wish you a happy new year uh, wish you all the best for your projects so in this uh, tutorial we're going to learn how to implement a tab bar in swift ui by, by leveraging uh, tab view okay so the first thing to do so as you can see that's what we're going to create so it's very easy uh, to implement uh, this uh, ui okay so you are going to launch your xcode create a new xcode project okay just like that then select single view app okay click next here you are going to give it a name select whatever you want uh, maybe i'm going to write uh, tab bar uh, en as it's the English version of my of my course okay then save the project on your Mac so the first thing to do is to check if everything works correctly okay so it's good I'm going to change the device to iPhone 11 Pro Max okay just like that so now i'm going to show you that adding a tab bar navigation to an ios app is way more easier in swift ui than it used to be in ui kit okay so what you're going to do is to first of all delete this text object and rather call a tab view object just like that then open curly brackets okay then we're going to take to use an a text object just like that okay and here you can write the content of the first view for instance okay then here call the property tab item just like that then you delete the parentheses and rather open curly brackets here we're going to to call an image object okay system name okay so here we're going to say uh, message dot fill okay as you can see we have the logo that appears uh, just like that and finally call a text and say for instance message for the name okay just like that actually what is system name actually it refers to it refers to a list of symbols sf symbols okay and you can actually download them on the apple developers website okay so as you can see if i type message that's the logo that i i have uh, called just right there okay cool so now we are going to create the second tab item okay simply by writing here text actually we can uh, also just copy paste it to save some time okay just like that and here you can write of the second view and in our demo i i have used this logo okay and here you can write camera just like that okay so what we are going to do is first create some structures okay so the first one will be blue view to be type of view okay just like that here we're going to call var body to be type some view okay and here simply write color dot blue okay cool and actually we can repeat uh, this structure twice in order to have two more colors so here i'm going to say yellow and here i'm going to say red for instance okay just like that cool and now we, what we can do is to we can delete those text objects okay just like that and rather call our three new structures okay just like that red okay and here 
make some space in order to write tab item so the first thing to add is an image object just like before okay with the system name okay here it was i think message dot fill then a text object and here we can write message okay just like that and we can also copy paste that twice again in order to save some time here i will use video.fill and here user okay here you can write camera and here you can write user and now i'm going to uh, press on the resume button and see what we get okay so it was no it's not user it's person just like that okay as you can see our our user interface is very nice so to keep this tutorial simple i didn't create complex views but keep in mind you can literally add views of any complexity okay so as you can see adding a tab bar in a swift U, uh, ui ios app is extremely simple thanks to tab view see you in the next lesson guys bye bye